What's the crack, lads? And welcome back to episode 8 in our eFootball Open qualifying journey. I don't have a live com for this one. Unfortunately, I was working the last weekend that I recorded these. It was pretty much I ran out of time, man, and I had to I had to double up. I was doing a bit of work and also playing the matches. So I wasn't really fully concentrated. I'm not making excuses, but hopefully this is some good gameplay as we get a four bar connection. And this guy, lads, I mean, Credit Card FC, absolutely insane team this guy had. And again, look, we will do a video on that quite soon as well. I think for eFootball 2024, whenever that is announced, I do think that we need to kind of have a hard look at the future of the game. This guy's got like five or six players that are either 100 overall or 99 and above. So obviously I was going to be in for a very, very tough game. But I am going to do a video on my meta and anti-meta formation where I switch between this and my sub tactics. And I will cover that in a video as well as attacking patterns and defending the patterns as well. So a lot of people ask me for that. And if you are a newcomer to the game, lads, right, welcome to the channel. Welcome to eFootball. If you've got any questions, get in touch in the comments below. We will be... Yeah, there's a lot of plans that I need to re re reveal. I'm just waiting for the right time to do it because we are working on a lot of stuff. But anyway, let's get to the action, right? We've got Romario up front. We've got Messi leading the line. I actually got off to a really good uh, start against this guy. But I just knew, man, the problem is, right, when you are playing against a guy that plays like this, right, the game really rewards somebody that plays central. So he's, you'll see here, he's dropped back, he's man-marking Romario. You can see there the tracking from Romario that it's been tracked. So it meant that I had to get out in front with Romario all the time or else I had to play wings, right? When this happens, you do have to be very, very, very patient in possession and you can't kind of like play the game at his pace. Like I wasn't going to get into a match and you'll see a couple of, of bits where I completely slow down the gameplay. He gets an excellent attack. I mean, this is this is what the game is all about. You lose possession and you get on the counter attack. It's always going to be difficult to stop it, especially with the team he has. So what you need to do, and I'm going to be covering this in another video, is you need to kind of exploit his um, kind of, you know, panicked way of playing like because everything that he's doing is at a rush it's at a pressure it's trying to turn me over as quickly as possible so that he can bang in a couple of goals against me so and this kind of suits me even though he's got an unbelievable team this kind of suits me in terms of being patient if i can just break his press and i also can just hold on to my onto the ball a little bit and just kind of test out a couple of things you know keep him guessing a couple of crosses a couple of switches you'll see here that i'm just completely slowing down the ball i will be doing a tutorial on air dribbling and, and dribbling like this as well a few people have been asking me if you are a newcomer a lot of people have been asking me for fifa style skills um but yeah all i'm doing here is trying to kind of soak up the pressure and think like let this guy think then I'm going to be kind of a time waster, and I'm not going to be catching him, um, you know, on quick counters. We do get the best chance of the game so far, and I think that always is going to be a good sign, because if you can get a chances breaking in and cutting in from the wing, a lot of people don't know how to defend it, and a lot of people don't like defending it. A lot of people will like to defend Metro, or Metro, <laughs> will like to defend Meta and Centrally, right? So when you get the ball here at Maldini, right, it's all about patient build-up, it's all about one touches, and little like basically not dribbling like taking the ball when you only have space and dribbling i get a lovely little break there again Kimmich gets a bit of luck ito into romario i probably should have turned and spun him there and i would have probably scored but it's all about mistakes you can see that this guy is kind of panicking he doesn't really want to be having the ball under his feet he doesn't really want to have the ball and pass and pass and pass and passing and you'll see that i just had long extended um you know periods of the game where i just was keeping my foot on the ball and was taking every opportunity i could to absolutely rinse him possession wise and just wait for a little breakdown in the box now look you're always going to concede goals and this is kind of my biggest thing that i'm learning right and i do watch your comments as well and i do take the criticism that i can get it into my head that when i you know make a mistake or the game kind of screws me it does kind of frustrate me to the point where I go down 1-0, the game is still on to play for, but by the time I've kind of cooled down with something that happens in the game, I'm 2-0 down, it's game over. So I think it's all about just keeping patient that, look, it's an online game, the game is not perfect, you are going to have chances where you miss, you're going to have chances where you miss hit the ball and you miss an open chance. You just have to brush yourself down and keep patient. I think I never really start to panic if I go 1-0 down, if the connection's fine, and if also, if I am able to get what I want out of this opponent, like this guy, look at this for a pass, man. I have to rewind this. This is absolutely ridiculous. I think he even knew it himself. He was like stunned that that pass had gone through, right? Look at this for a pass, man. It's absolutely like, it's crazy with some of the stuff that happens like that. But 
again, I get the ball on the break. I'm not, you know, I'm not going direct. Like, I'm not going straight into the direct. And as I said, lads, I'm not the best player in the world. I just know what works for me. So I do get another chance into the box there. I'm doing a lot of stunning crosses. We've had stunning passes, stunning crosses, stunning shots, touching goals, long range shots. We've tried a lot of variety in trying to break this guy down. And unfortunately, we get absolutely screwed. And this is what I'm talking about, right? When you are playing a top class player like this, and that happens, you can put the head down, you know, and, and for me, usually, I may, maybe if I was live streaming, um, or maybe if I was live commentating, I'd get a little bit more frustrated there, but I just brushed myself off, and I said, right, I know that I can get chances against this guy, even though he's an unbelievable squad, he's letting me play a bit of ball, and all he's doing is lumping the ball forward, because that works most of the time, right, so when I get a chance, all I need to do is like punish him. Like I just need to get a chance, try something different. And if I get the goal, I know that I'm going to come on against this guy very, very, very strongly and be able to get a second goal. So I wait for my chance, little spin across and Romario finally gets a bit of break and he gets in. Even though he's man marking me and he's playing a very deep line. But he's straight back down and this is what, you know, the good players are going to do for you. They're going to carve out chances with their AI, with their runs, with their patterns. So all I needed to do was just wait my time, wait and be patient and just try and get a get a good few chances. Brilliant saves again from Donna. I mean, he's the best in the business, lads. I hate going up against Donna. It's so hard to beat him. But we do get a chance there again and uh, Donna makes a brilliant save again. Cleared and he just gets the ball out, but he just find it very difficult to break me down, I think, and keep in possession, we try a trick, that could have been 50-50, I think, if I just done the trick a second earlier, even though the responsiveness in this game wasn't too bad, there is a general, you know, unresponsiveness issue with the game sometimes online, and I probably could have scored on that counter there, but I went in with a stupid slide tackle, that happens, man, that happens as well, don't ever, you know, blame yourself if you lose the head for a couple of minutes. It's all about the next possession, you know? One all can very, very quickly become 3-1 if you lose the head, as I keep as I keep saying. So when once I had Mbappe on here, right, I brought him on on the right flank. I knew that I had sheer pace, and I knew that this guy was going to struggle to actually run with me on the wings. I knew he was having a very, very difficult time on the wings and clearing the ball and stuff, and we just pounced, and we got a bit of luck there. Now, he got the, he got the lucky break with the first one, but we do actually win win that match and end up winning a 2-1. That was probably our biggest match um, to date where we won, right? Against all odds. Now, this guy's got an excellent team as well. It's kind of a standard GP slash free-to-play team. So I do have a better squad than him. I'm not going to lie. It's very, very even. We do have Neymar. We have Timber. And I decided straight away that I was going to be a little bit more attacking here in this game because I knew that I had to get at him with the formation that he had, right? So I've gone back to my 4-3-3. I've switched things a little bit around um, just to be able to bring, say, the likes of uh, Kimmich back. Kimmich is a great option because he can play CMF, DMF, or RB. So it doesn't really make a difference what formation that I have. But as I said, lads, I will be doing a video on this where I talk about why this works, how it works, and why the AI kind of like kind of helps you with the, the the defensive AI and stuff. I mean, I know going up against this guy as a tree up front, I knew it was going to be a difficult game, but all I needed to do was get an early goal. So this was a good match, lads. This was actually a cracker of a match. Um one of our last games and yeah, I mean, this is what it's all about, man. It's all about just two good guys going at it. This guy wasn't really meta. He was playing a kind of brand of football that was similar to mine. And obviously, there was only going to be a couple of kicks in the ball. But we were in for a battle. It was kind of a fairly physical match. Um, a lot of cynical play. But I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Let me know how you got on with the event. Did you actually pass it? Will you be going for the qualifiers round two? Second chance at it. And yeah, we'll be back quite soon with another video. Peace.